save up to 50% on your medicine bills. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if Pharmadynamics has a generic medicine that's suitable for you. Many of us aren't aware how dangerous a lifestyle with limited physical activity is in the long term. Discussing this with Riyadh in studio today is our wellness expert Lisa Raleigh, along with psychologist Clinton Garwilla and Professor Brian Ascott Evans, head of the Division of Diabetes, Endocrinology and Metabolism at the University of Stellenbosch and Tigerberg Hospital. People tend to be predominantly concerned with weight gain as a consequence of a lack of exercise. What are the other dangers of a sedentary lifestyle? We know that uh, people that are overweight have an increased risk of heart disease, which is a big factor. But there are many other parts of heart disease, what we call the metabolic syndrome, which commonly go together with people that are overweight. And that is a high cholesterol, a high blood pressure and even diabetes. And each one of those factors is a very dangerous thing to have because it increases your risk for heart disease. And when you put them all together, it becomes like a time bomb ticking away. Of course, there are many other problems associated with people that carry a large amount of weight. It's extra wear and tear on the joints. They develop arthritis, typically osteoarthritis. But there are other effects, including on the immune system, which are effects not only of being overweight, but perhaps even more so of not being active. We know activity has a whole host of other spin-offs, and one of those, almost certainly, although we can't prove everything, is that it improves the immune system and your ability to fight against not only infections, but cuts down your risk of certain cancers. And yeah. obese, obese people we know have got a higher risk of a whole number of cancers. Obesity can increase the risk of certain cancers by up to 50%. And while exercise does wonders for physical health, it also improves our mental health. Clinton, uh, it's well documented that exercise is um, beneficial in terms of lifting your mood. Uh, exercise releases endorphins. What are the psychological and emotional dangers of a sedentary lifestyle? I think the word danger is maybe a little bit heavy in terms of the psychological component. So maybe we can turn it around rather and, and talk about what are, what are the benefits of, of being active. And I think psychologically and emotionally, they're, they're well documented on a number of levels. For example, we know that physically active ind individuals are less likely to be depressed. Secondly, in terms of energy, just so, so your, a lot of your viewers who are watching this right now, I don't want to chase them away from the TV, yeah. but uh, a lot of them, are, if, when they get home from work and they collapse exhausted in front of the TV, it's less likely to be from hard manual labor than it is from an emotional draining and, yes. and then probably the one, one of the most useful things you can do to actually energize yourself is actually to move. To exercise. And, and there, there are other benefits, for example, in terms of stress management. Studies have shown that physically fit individuals, first of all, respond less dramatically to, to stressful situations and secondly, return to normal in a much shorter space of time. It is often fear that prevents people from embarking on an exercise routine. The key is to make a commitment to yourself and slowly break through those fears. Lisa, how do people overcome these emotional uh, barriers and get moving? Well, to be honest, Riyadh, the most important thing is to be ready to change. And that's what people have to ask themselves is, if I'm not ready, no matter how great the advice is that I'm getting from any kind of doctor or fitness or wellness professional, I'm not actually going to take the steps to change. Ideally, you want to find something that you love. So you've got to go out there and you've got to try, whether it's hot yoga or whether it's pole dancing or any kind of, of exercise. Pole you've got dancing? To, <laughs> pole dancing, it doesn't matter. You mean matter. like with a pole, not like a person from Warsaw? Yeah, no. Like, okay. <laughs> no, like with a pole. You know, there's, there's a huge variety of different exercises on the market. You've got to find something that you love, that motivates you, and that will get you going time and time again. So you've got to be ready. You've got to find something that you love. If you are demotivated, as it because you don't like exercise, then maybe you need to train with a buddy or a mm. partner. Maybe join a running club or some kind of dancing club. But the idea is that unless you want to do it, unless you want to change, nothing will change. Yes. So. The thing about motivation, though, I, th I think also one needs to look at the areas of one's life where one is doing something consistently, regardless of whether one feels motivated. And I think the answers there are that, that one has made a commitment to doing a particular action, a depth of commitment which is stronger than the emotion at the time. So I go to work on the days in when I don't feel like it because I want the longer term consequences. Yes. And when one makes that level of commitment to, for example, exercise, 
then I think two things happen. One, one starts exercising more regularly, and two, it actually becomes easier because it's allowing oneself the whole debate, should I, shouldn't I, that actually makes it a whole lot more difficult than it needs to be. Our children are becoming more and more sedentary, but parents can be the greatest motivator to change this by leading through example and becoming more active themselves. Because of a lot of other things that kids tend to be doing now, um, there's a danger of kids also falling into the trap of being sedentary from a very, very early age. Uh, what are the dangers associated with that? It's a major problem, you're quite correct. To change your lifestyle becomes more and more difficult the older you are. If you've had 40 years of a bad lifestyle, to expect that you're going to change that to the opposite is highly unlikely. And that is why it's so essential that for kids, we make sure that they don't spend all the time on their various technological toys, as I'd like to call them. That they get out, they run around, that they play games, sports and things like that outside. If you look at in figures which come out from the first world, is that <coughs> amongst American and um, Australian kids, that figures of both 20% of them are already obese. And that means that those people are developing the diseases that at the moment you get when you're 40 or 50, heart disease, they're already starting. And we're going to see a bigger and bigger epidemic. We already see in kids that are under the age of 15 that they develop the adult type of diabetes, which is normally only associated with lifestyle. Mm. And that is not rare, it's becoming very common. Mm. So one has to change things completely. What are simple ways to incorporate physical activities in our daily lives? The key is to avoid sitting too much, to be quite honest. Most of us drive to work, then we sit the entire day, and then we drive home, and then we sit in front of the television. So we've just got to avoid being sedentary. Yes, exercise, your one hour of, of higher intensity exercise is very important, but the avoiding sedentary activities are actually as important. So, for instance, replacing your, your chair for an exercise ball at work. When the clock strikes 12, maybe you get down and do 10 dips at the edge of your chair. Walking around whilst you're on the phone. Walking to work or walking to the coffee shop at tea break. So walking up the stairs, not the escalator. Exactly. That's, I mean, it's yeah. a cliched one, but yeah. it's absolutely. And yeah. parking a little bit further away and then walking in as opposed to circling the car park in your car and trying to, to find the closest parking. So terrible parking. parking is good for you, actually. <laughs> we should say yes. <laughs> You know what it is? It's, it's accidental exercise. And it's just about avoiding being sedentary. That is also classified exercise. So if you don't have that hour a day, then focus on being active wherever you can find those two minutes here, five minutes there, and eventually it adds up. Save up to 50% on your medicine bills. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if Pharmadynamics has a generic medicine that's suitable for you.